Okay, now it's Handsome Jack here. You're listening to Start Replay. Pushy Snuggle Bites is my main squeeze. I thought I would take some time away from battling Dr. Nefarious and introduce a brand new Start Replay podcast. Presumably because you have half a brain in your head. <laughs> okay, kisses. Hey everybody, welcome to Start Replay podcast episode 27. That I'm you. Tom. I'm Josh. I am Richard. And we are back after months away. Mm-hmm. We've we've had like one of those sabbaticals, so we've just been doing our own thing. I've been trapped in a cocoon of spider's webs and other such stuff. I'm trapped in a glass case <laughs> of emotion. <laughs> I was holding on to too many grenades, many of which I'd pulled the pin, but didn't actually let go of. There's too um, many like metaphors. So many analogies. So uh, I was fight. I spent all the time fighting bears in Canada to be able to handle recording this podcast yeah again. this this is quite a momentous occasion yeah um, a lot has happened the four corners of the earth the last time joined together once again <laughs> where this morning actually it's the 25th today that we're recording this this morning at 3 30 in the morning Richard Theo Ben and myself went to see Batman v Superman we're not going to talk about it really Mad um Mad. Tom hasn't seen it unfortunately oh it's crazy that spoilers. Batman's Superman's father I know isn't it, isn't it amazing <laughs> that um Brilliant. Bruce Wayne's dad is actually um married to his mum the Flash <clears throat> not just... even in the Flashpoint is Thomas Wayne the Flash <laughs> no, just a drunk Batman uh so yeah today we're going to be talking just random stuff uh, We've been playing a lot on the Vive. Well, Tom hasn't because he hasn't played any uh, Vive yet. Uh, PlayStation VR has been uh, dated and uh, priced. There's been a lot of stuff on Netflix, Daredevil. There's been... Uh, there's just a lot of stuff happening. Spider-Man. Just catch has, up. It's just a big catch-up. A big, this one, a isn't big it? It's a catch general up. chit-chat catch-up. A big ca- catch-up. And we're just, just going to um, <laughs> And we're just going to record it for you guys. Yeah. So I hope you like it. Stick it in your ears. Mm, careful. <laughs> stick us in your ears. Stick me in your ears. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the the journey. Kids will probably enjoy it as well. What should we start off with? Well, the controversy is surrounding the last podcast because it had to be taken down, didn't it? Oh well, yeah, we had to like heavily amend the last podcast because it's quite controversial. Yeah. We were talking about video game well it doesn't matter what we're talking about characters. we apologise if anyone heard it and was offended yeah, I exactly. wasn't on it so I have nothing to apologise for mm. Mm. No. on behalf of Ben having Josh, said that the topic was suggested by a woman so, so blame her yeah. yeah blame the women I yeah. mean blame no, no. blame, blame, my, that, no. that, blame one woman. that one particular one though of course no blames being blaming anywhere no it's taken so, down all, all has been amended Gaming stuff, PlayStation VR, VR is a big thing. Oculus Rift, Vive, PlayStation VR, they're all coming. Uh, firstly, yeah. Oculus Rift is out or has come out this month. Yep. First shipments. Next month is Vive. And then in October, PlayStation VR. Pretty much everything's sold out already. Uh, yeah, apparently so. So it's yep. £349. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't include move controllers or the camera, which it actually needs to work. Oh, that doesn't include the camera? No, it doesn't include That's the camera. Dumb. Um, Which is it going to come up to uh, with all the stuff added so on? So, camera you can get by itself on Amazon for like 40 quid. quid. So, you're looking at like 400 quid. I've already got two move controllers from when they first released them like five, six years ago. You don't need them, though, do you? What, for move the, controllers? Yeah. Uh, no, you don't absolutely need them, but obviously for the experiences, yeah. you kind of do. Um, I think. Um, what's that? What's that game by Hello Games or, or Good Media or whatever? Hello Games, the. Space one, Sean Murray, about space, No Man's Sky. <laughs> oh, right, sorry. Go. I think that's going to be VR compatible. It said Guildford. That'd be, be really, really cool. cool. Hasn't there been recent gameplay released of that? There has been. I actually haven't, I haven't caught up on any, no. any of it. I haven't watched any of it. Phased past uh, yeah, it the other day. Exactly. Um, I'm very excited for that. But I, I guess my main question to you guys is are you going to buy VR? Yes. Regardless whether it's Oculus Rift, Vive, Vive. Because it makes me feel a vibe. <laughs> Are you actually going to buy the vibe though, Richard? Nice. Yeah. 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 Okay. Just we'll um, have to save up for it. How many of the uh, VR experiences have you tried between PlayStation, Oculus, and Vive? I've tried HTC Vive. That's it. Yeah. Well, you've tried the best. I refused to try so. uh, Oculus Rift because it was at Eurogamer, and the only thing you could try was a horse racing simulator. Wow. And it looked absolutely horse racing. Shite. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I've tried Oculus. We did that. Was it? Yeah. Have you tried the PlayStation VR? No. So when we were E3, 
because there was such oh, a yeah. limited amount of space, remember, yeah, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just go and do it. Okay. Um, rather than me. Well, I, I do... I'll be buying PlayStation VR for definite. So I'd, definitely like, I'd like to get the Vive at some point. I won't. I'm not in a rush. Yeah, to get you it haven't even played so, on it. God, when you when you play on it, that's. I will get be... it. I will definitely get it, but I'm no I'm in no rush because it is so expensive. Now I work part time at a PC World, and we're one of the few stores in the country that have actually got three a Vive. Well, it, three PC Worlds in the country, and there's uh, Overclockers UK, um, oh, yeah. a, another shop, and a few more shops that are actually getting Vive installations. But we've got one, and I can sort of have free reign in that room if I come into work early uh, or anything I can just go in the room I can mess around with it tilt brush job simulator space pirate trainer and I gave Theo and Richard a good hour and a half of different things and we were just you know swapping what is tilt brush tilt brush is uh, Google's own paint simulator so you can you can choose to paint in smoke or splatter or, or paper and you can walk around these virtual paintings. That there was another cool. simulation, wasn't there, as well? There was four, weren't there? Uh, there was supposed to be Below Deep, which is one with uh, a whale. I swear I played four. Mm, no. Oh, Pirate the whale job one. Simulator I think I saw painting. a video about that one. Job simulator painting and then shooting. Yeah. Those are the ones you were Shooting one looked quite cool. Shooting, shooting ones were really, really good. I mean, Richard, what was your first... Because ex- that was your first experience of any virtual reality. Um, I really so. liked the shooting one because I felt like I was John Wick. <laughs> Yeah, for the half an hour that you've seen. Yeah. Hell. Well, I was like, I was like, I was like <laughs> sliding around. But what? From the half an hour I've seen of John Wick, yeah, I felt like my newborn puppy was like kicked, and uh, I had to go on a rampage killing r- random robots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was your overall experience though? The, the feeling you put on the headset, you get the controllers. Obviously, it's all one to one. It's it, there. And it was no really lag. reactive. Yeah. There was no lag. No lag. Yeah, that was really good. Um. Yeah, it was just an amazing experience. And without spoiling it too much for... I mean, you can't, I guess you, you can't, can't really spoil it, it fine. for... I'm not fussed. But obviously, to begin with, you're given the controllers, you're in, and you're in this like white space, and you can blow up balloons. And hit them. And then you can hit the balloons. And, and what did you think about that so cool. sort of... That, I'll tell you what that I thought about you that. Can you can feel the vibration. If you hit the balloon in the controller, you, there's that feedback. I felt really annoyed that when I hit the balloons, which yeah. I blew up, I couldn't kick them as well. Yeah. But, um, but maybe in the future, you know, in the future you'll get little sensors which you can put on your knees and your, your feet. ankles or something. Yeah. Um, and then the lighthouse, the two boxes which you have to put in your room, which shoot lasers out to figure out where you are. What well, do you reckon um, we're going to see? Mass sales of the treadmills you can use for VR as well. I don't think so. What those no. kind of circular, yeah. just boards that slide. Where well, you look like really weird when you're running. Yeah, you're like. Mm. No, no one can see that. I, I don't think that. <laughs> yeah, I don't it think was great. You, well, with that, you also need the harness around your waist. And yeah, it's just yeah. This, that's not going to. Be, I think they are going to solve like locomotion out in terms of using like the touch pads to maybe move forward. And there's a lot of portal content coming for free to Vive this summer, <gasps> like small oh, that sections. That would be a good game. Yeah, portal. And it's. I don't know how I'd feel about going through a portal, or maybe shooting one above me and one below me and going oh, in a vibe. I yeah. would be sick. That would be motion sickness. Or extreme. I would. Yeah, but. In Vive, I didn't. I've never experienced any motion sickness compared to PlayStation VR and Oculus, where I. I a lot of people have said sick. that. A lot of people say that they've yeah get motion sickness with Oculus and mm-hmm. any other one, but with Vive, it's yeah. too real to get motion sickness. Yeah. And then, of course, with the demos sense. that you got, Rich, who is uh, the job simulator, where you're in this small office space mm. and you have to uh, do tasks like turn on your computer by plugging it into the power. Uh, there's a disc there that you can play a game, so you put it in the disc tray and it's like uh, Flappy Bird. Oh, you I can d- do all that, can you? Yeah, you can. I, I, yeah. I can just like chuck stuff at the robots <laughs> in the game. <laughs> That's what most people do, to be fair. Yeah. And of course, you're given two hands and with the controllers, because you've got these small circular pads mm. and clicky like trigger buttons on the back, so you click to yeah. grab. I noticed when you and Theo played it, one of you sort of just fired all the stuff within the office. Yeah, I did that. And Neil came around quite grumpy at the end. <laughs> Because in, in Job Simulator, and in, in the this is like Job Simulator 2050, the archives or something, I think, from my comment. Yeah. And this is just one demo, but there are many demos like uh, Job Simulator in a kitchen or a workplace, like uh, engineering and lots of other well, different think, jobs. I don't know if you noticed that on the playthrough where you fired loads of people, mm-hmm. one, of, one of the robots came up to you at the end and like, had, showed, yeah, showed you his family. Yeah, he <laughs> showed pictures of oh, his kids. No! <laughs> yeah. And it's, it is that character yeah. that it, they 
inject into these games and, and there are many times, even going to it now, well I have the controllers in my hands and I'll see the table and I'll want to put the controllers down. Mm. I've done that once or twice, I'll be like... No. So this is what I raised a point with Josh the other day, I said, I, well, I can't believe no one's tried it yet, but in Job Simulator you can see your hands, right? Yeah. Why don't you put the controllers down on the floor <laughs> and stand up again and then look down at the floor and you'll see your hands next to your feet? <laughs> Because that's not that amazing. <laughs> but the yeah, interesting, that, um, is that your mind blown you already? Kick your hands around. <laughs> the interesting thing is, is on on the actual headset itself, it has a camera on the front, so you can see everything, and it's sort of like a, a green wiry, yeah, mesh. Image. So you know mesh. how far you can. Walk. So you can see your entire surroundings in real life, past in this like virtual space. So you know. So it has a camera on the outside, yeah, like a fa- exactly. out, front yeah, facing. facing out. I mean, you don't you don't see the mesh like thing all the time. This is just only if you choose to like walk around. Oh, so it kind of gives you that kind of virtual three D space. Yeah, exactly. your limits. Yeah, and when you get near the limits, the mesh will come up saying, "No further, bro." Yeah, you can. I mean, in this space area, I could please set... return to the map with <laughs> five, four. Three. Oh no 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 no! no. <laughs> and I then mean, you die. <laughs> you have to respawn because I've got quite a small room, or whatever space you've got. You can set up the perimeter of where these virtual blue walls will appear. So when you near, like, if I set it, if I set it to like here, mm. like far away from the wall, I know without a doubt that I'm not actually near the wall, but there is a virtual gate oh, telling cool. me of my space that I've set up. That's cool. Um, what you said the uh, gun one was your favourite, right? Yeah, because yeah. I felt really cool. Even though watching back, I sort of just didn't look cool. You looked like a nerd. <laughs> yeah, I was you just, le- I was really leaning back. Like, I don't know. Actually, there was one bit. Where you did full on Matrix style, and I was like, that's super cool. Because the bullets really came, cool. you just went like that, and it went past you. And then I saw you kind of actually moving as well. I was like, that was so cool. Yeah. Mm. There's this really cool bit where like loads of robots were surrounding me, and I just I, uh, crouched down on the floor, pulled my shields out, sort of formed a Tetsudo mm. around myself, pulled the guns out, just fucking took them all out. Yeah, like just spinning in the circle. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Hey, it's like you're pulling in, um, an arrow from a quiver. Yep. Is it? And each time you do that, it'll change from gun to shield, gun to shield, and you can do that. Oh, so just, just that motion. Yeah, just doing that. Oh, that's cool. And the t- shield is actually really detailed. So mm. you can, I was turning and around looking at it. it, and you can see through it, and, and the so actual like the ones detail. That, um, the gun guns use in episode one, those kind of shields. Gun Star guns. Yeah. You no, know, you know what I'm talking about. Do you mean episode two? No, yeah, episode, episode one, gun one. guns. I was, I was thinking of the weird. Flying no, the, ones, kind of yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah. I'm sort not too of. familiar. Except for me, it looks more like a uh, honeycomb structure. On the yeah, cool. It's, yeah, it's really because it, it's just this virtual one to one. It's like it's there, and and the, the the shield just looking at it and actually facing it to you, putting the guns like that. Yeah, you can you, actually shoot you and yeah, you can shoot goes, yourself oh. and you'll die. <laughs> you will <laughs> die as well. <laughs> yeah, you'll die and then you need like game over and then you'll With play it again. The vibe though, all these games they sound kind of cool and fun. But that's all they seem like at the moment. Mm. How long will it be until you get full more competitive experience. games? I mean, like the shooting one, you can't be competitive mm. with like online leaderboards. The shooting one, yeah, yeah. the shooting one's like it's so cool. You'll just be playing it for hours anyway, yeah, and, and it's and a good workout, is, isn't it, Josh? It is a good workout. If you've seen the video uh, on YouTube.com forward slash start replay, you will be able to see me jump around like a monkey, same as panting away as soon as you got to level twelve. Yeah, God, it was it was mental, but it's so much fun and. But these are small demos, you know, they're not the full games. In the full game, you'll have mm. different stages, different guns, uh, a lot more to do. And in all these big franchises that we know of, like Far Cry, Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, they're going to make experiences where you can, you know, experience, experience that world. But in VR, it's going to be different because in VR, people can do what they want, when they want. And there was a demo that I played at Gamescom last year which was based on Far Cry where I was tied up as a hostage and then Vass is it Vass or Vass, Vass yeah, from Vass. Far Cry 3 was talking to me and he noticed if I was looking away from him and he noticed you know if I, if I wasn't speaking or so, well if I you know if I wasn't paying attention he would come up to me and say hey you paying attention to me or stuff like that that's cool so, so as, soon, as soon as he does that you just look away again. yeah <laughs> so it's these it's the different experiences and I can imagine some type of first person Assassin's Creed well, maybe you use a thumbstick to move forward, and then you use your hands to climb up buildings or stuff. Well, it was like the um, uh, Connect Sports thing. Mm, use that yeah. one, like the climbing. Um, 
and I'm sure a lot of these experiences will also come to PlayStation VR as well. But the Vive, you do need a pretty high-powered PC. You need at least a 970 uh, graphics card in there. Well, we'll need, see about um, that. <laughs> so, Luckily, I only need to upgrade my graphics card. Yeah. My process is pretty good. That's good. I have to build a whole new rig. PC. I just have to build a rig. Yeah, you just start get a rig built. It's it's exciting, but it's literally just going to be for VR. And it, Theo was you're not like, even getting a monitor, are you? No, I'm not getting a monitor. I don't need. You don't need one. <laughs> well, got, I'll plug it into my TV if I need to navigate the menu. Yeah, which I yeah will, but that's what you need it for. Um, exactly. Yeah, I don't have enough time to play all the bloody Xbox games I have, regardless of booting everything up on PC. Jesus. Yeah, just whack an SSD in there and it boots up like 10 seconds you'd I know but actually spending time dedicated on on a PC playing games only in Vive you should do just start playing more PC games we should start playing more PC games ok let's do that well, actually we do come to the conclusion that first we should all Dota. meet up Dota the storm. do you play Dota? I've played it once. did you say we need to meet up once a month or once a once a month to go for a meal yeah places and they tried out was it bluegrass mm. it's banging that mm. it's banging just make sure you don't eat all day so yeah, Ben, ben was uh, stomach room for Ben said sure. he's gone there a few times and had a pit boss special to himself fuck me <laughs> what's that it's, it's, it's a big meant, it's a huge meat platter yeah it's basically a bit of meat for from everything so it's like all the different meats they do but all in one platter <laughs> from everything chips and their coleslaw and it's a huge platter and they're like you can have it for yourself but you can recommend sharing it yeah. it's, it's enough to share how much does it cost share. It's actually it? reasonably priced, to be fair. Mm, I think it was like seventeen pounds. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, so it's, it's good. really good. It's, it's, it's Just not it's eat perfect. for a whole week. Yeah, mm. we'll have to go there this month. Yeah, totally we'll sure. I mean, you guys were talking about like, PC games. You were talking about some Stardew Valley or something. Stardew Valley. What is that? It's a uh, RPG country farming sim. <laughs> All right. Um, Really weird. Really, it's hard to explain, but it's just it's super ridiculous. So you basically, um, like your your gra- you basically inherit a, an old nice. You, you inherit a. Why do you have to do it so close to the microphone? <laughs> when Tom's having um, his first sustained period of talking on the, po- man, on the podcast this is, this as well, is spotlight. And then yours is eating your pizza for it. <laughs> what an ass! I'm taking a sip of drink now, aren't I? Um, no, so it's uh, you basically inherit an old, rundown farm from like your granddad. Uh, people are just yeah. eating in front of me. I'm so hungry. Where is my pizza? Mm. <laughs> Speaking of which, turn on the little plug next to you, and then the doorbell will ring, and you'll hear it. You and go. you'll all, all hear it on the podcast. Ding dong. The witch um, is dead. Nice. Yeah. So it's, yeah, you basically inherit a small little farm. And it is just you've kind of got to you know, introduce yourself to the other people in the village, basically make a farm. So it's as simple as like hoeing hoeing the ground. It's like um, is it like Animal Crossing. In a, yeah, it's like Animal Crossing but meets space. Uh, meets no, it's not not space. What is it said it's in space? No, just because the name has the word star in it doesn't mean it's in space. No, it's like let me try Google a picture of it. Just type in star. So Valley. it's farming simulator. No, because it's like a. Not quite top down, but kind of pixelated, cutesy kind of artwork. So you have a look and you'll see oh, what I mean. Oh, yeah. This is like a Facebook game. It looks like. But it's really, actually, no, really in depth. It looks really like depth. Terraria. Looks yeah, like yeah, yeah. That kind of Pokemon. art style, but more. Oh, top, God, it is. More top down. It's Terraria for farming. It's and not. Tom didn't like Terraria. Terraria's shit, like, no, this Terraria is, is shit, but I like no, Terraria, so, but it's like farming. No, it's not. It's not. It's, really, it's nothing bu- like Terraria. Do you get to build your own houses? No. Do you build your own creatures? No. Do you build your own farms? You can, like, hoe the, you know, hoe the, the, the ground and plant seeds. Does it take like actual hours for seeds to grow? No. Is it a bit like Simpsons tap and whatever? Oh no! Is it in real time? So you have to wait a year for the. uh, No. So so there's (laughs) for the harvest. Essentially, there's. Is Peter Parker? I'm going to throw something at both of you. (laughs) Oh, guess what I saw yesterday? No, the year. When I got on the train yesterday, you know, I trained to London yesterday, Josh. Fuck you all. On the side of it, it said Sir Peter Parker. Oh, really? Yeah. Continue with your story, Tom. No. No, no? fuck you. Is it because you've broken your mic now? No, I don't care if I've broken my mic. It's not mine, it's Josh's. Hmm. <laughs> we'll play. In other news, we we'll should really start wearing our headphones with this. 
Every yeah. time we say we should start doing that. Mm -hmm. We used to. We will do next time. That's what we said last time. So Stardew Valley <laughs> looks very much like one of those like farm Facebook games of where... I have a little, have yeah. a little gander. And, and so then... It's Pokemon. It's like Pokemon, <laughs> but for farm animals. It's kind of. It's a caravan. It's a caravan. But it's, caravan it's really, really in-depth and it's, it's nice. It's just fun to play. It's not... Can you pick the colour of your chickens? No. It's not in-depth You can name them, though. Clucky? Bucky? No. no. I've got Mike, Bucky. Mike, Cap. Mike, Sally and Boo are my chickens. Can they die? Can your chickens die? I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. He hasn't tried. Try. Well, try I have played them. about 30 hours of that game so far. You've played 30 hours of Stardew Valley? I've played a lot. <laughs> oh my goodness. I play it at work though, that's the thing. Because oh. I downloaded it. Oh, um, you can get only might phones. not want to confess that. No, 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 no. It's on my it's on my work laptop. Can I can not I get it, it on my iPhone? No. I can't get Stardew Valley on my iPhone. I don't know. This Google looks it. like the perfect crap game. Crap game? Yeah, oh, you'll right. have a crap, <laughs> Yeah. and you'll play the game. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's what Twitter's for. No, because no, I, no, I downloaded Steam on my laptop, but then I can't connect to the Steam servers via the work network, uh, and it was only about 500 meg to download, so I just hooked it up to my phone, did that, and they'll play it offline at work. I don't do anything at work. Wow, the commitment. Gentlemen. I don't the do commitment. anything. You paired up your phone just to download Stardew Valley. You're like, that. I need my Stardew Valley fix. Uh, no, because no, everyone was ranting and raving about it, so I bought it, downloaded it, and I was like, oh, that's quite fun. So I play it at work. That's what I do in my day, day to day. So I do. We've lost I get in at work forever. at nine, do about an hour of work, get everything done, and then. It's because Tom really wants to quit and become a farmer. I don't want to become a farmer. There's no technology on farms. Well, there's just quite a lot of technology. Don't really give me that look farmer. like I know you want to be a farmer. Mm. You want to be farmer. Farmer. Old farmer, farmer Tom. Farmer. I don't um, have the patience or the energy to be a farmer. Like, I just I want <laughs> people get, to give me my money. Four. I don't want to have to make food and sell it to make money. I, just I have, want I have money. to say, there's this current. Uh, Rich has already seen it, but there's this video going around of where oh uh, Ben Affleck and and Henry Cavill are doing this press tour still for um, uh, Batman v Superman. And so the, the re reviews have come out and they've been asked, and this was at Yahoo Movies, and it was actually, who's that guy from IGN who left, had sort of curly hair, curly black hair, Tom? IGN yeah, Tom. UK. I think it was Tom from IGN UK who left like a few years ago. One of um, the guys that was at the, in the podcast? Yeah. Yeah, he was like one of the main people. You'll recognise his voice when you see it. But anyway, he asks... Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill is like, yeah. So, what do you reckon about the, the, you know, the poor reviews and stuff like that? And um, I've got to find it. I'm just trying to think about exactly. Um, oh, who posted it? Just search sad Affleck. Sad. That's that's true. Or sad Ben Affleck. Why isn't the pizza here? Sad Batfleck. It's so good, seriously. <laughs> I mean, it makes you—it makes you kind of feel bad because it's not his fault. The pacing, and again, we're not—we're not going to really it, it talk about the, the movie. It wasn't or, any of the actors' faults. Yeah, the acting was brilliant. Pacing's just a bit off. Pacing a bit off is is kind. I would say, fucking woeful. <laughs> but but the thing is, it's I've a seen film pacing. <laughs> I've um, seen better pacing. I, I, Somebody waiting for the bus. All right. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Well, Sorry. don't give too much away because I still want to watch it. I'm still excited no, no, no. for when, it. We're not going to talk about spoilers, as I said. We're not going to talk about that. But you know, I still will enjoy it because it's got cool CGI and fight scenes. So I'll come out and go. It's see, a movie awesome. that every, no fight scenes, it's just talking. every comic book. <laughs> and, <laughs> they're just like, oh, <laughs> Batman, <laughs> please. Can can you help me? What, what have, do you want? They have, they have debates <laughs> instead of fights. Freeze. It's a movie that every comic book nerd or just, just <laughs> someone who's a fan of, of comic books or, or superheroes needs to see. It's just a movie that they need to see because it's just what it is. If I show you this clip, Jesus Christ, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I feel so bad for him, so so bad because he went through Daredevil, which was the worst. It was like he it made his career get majorly fucked up. This one, oh, however, yeah. this one, however, isn't. He is awesome in the film. I find 
He was absolutely awesome in the film. The only problem is the director, which is why I want Ben Affleck to be in a solo Batman film that he directs as soon as possible. So I reckon he'd do all right. He was he was all right in the film. I just I'm those fight scenes it. were blew me away, and I was like, D- "This is my favorite Batman. This is my new favorite Batman." And I just yeah. So I still like George Nips Clooney. Oh god. Hey, George the Nips Clooney. Well, anyway, Nips Clooney. Ben, you're probably not listening to this, but you did an awesome job, mate. He, he is, and he's it's up not there. your fault. This movie's been critically panned, although it is apparently making a shit ton of money, which is good. Oh, so will do that. It's like Spider Man 3, you know, it got critically panned, but it made a shit ton of money, which is good. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully, from here on in, I've... Justice League Part 1, which they're filming in a couple of weeks, it'll be all right. What I feel about the film is if they. <clears throat> I'm going to have an, uh, a creamy egg. If they separated all the characters' individual scenes, like if they just had Batman scenes put together, I reckon it would have been pretty good. I mean, it, it wouldn't have made sense, but it would have been really good. <laughs> it actually might have made more sense. I do want to see it again because it's just. Don't say too much. Don't. You're getting dangerously close to giving stuff away, Richard. Don't do it. Oh, shit. Don't do it. Don't worry. Please. He doesn't give any. I don't like that look. Take that look off your face. Yeah. It's kind of weirder. Uh, <laughs> moving on, actually speaking about Daredevil, it has come back Ooh. to Netflix and season, season two. two. I've binged it. Richard has binged it. Mm. Tom's just caught up in season one and now he's in season two, episode Second three. Or third episode. Last Friday, we both went to Tesco's and got some uh, Krispy Kremes, didn't we? Mm. For our respective binge watching sessions. Mm-hmm. No, well, I have to watch it when the uh, when the girlfriend is out of the house because she talks for it all. Hmm. And as you know, if you're dead, you have to pay attention to what they're saying. Well, I find you do anyway. So I'm sat there with it really fucking loud so I can hear them talk. And then there's the fight scene. I'm like, ah, it's so loud. But no, I have to wait until she's out of the house. So tonight is prime watching time. But no, I'm here recording this. I'll finish watching it soon. Sorry. You should be. All right. Yeah, Sorry. but I fucking she didn't I'll spoil it for you. She didn't talk through whiplash. That's because you were there. Oh. <laughs> Probably. So I I she'll, she'll be sat on her phone and then she'll be like, oh, look at this. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Take Josh with you, then. <laughs> when you watch it. I just tell him. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> As a deterrent. As a deterrent. As a deterrent. <laughs> but so, Eliza, if you talk through this, Josh will backhand you across the face. <laughs> oh, my God. Who would win in a fight between Adam West Batman and George Clooney Batman? George Clooney. Poke Adam's eyes out nope. with his nipples. Adam West would use his uh, bat suit nipple repellent bat spray. I don't think he has that. And he, he's, got, he's got a uh, repellent for everything. Mm. Shark repellent. I think Ben Affleck would m- make mincemeat. But ben oh. Affleck isn't involved here. Mm. Don't spoil it for Tom. I'm not spoiling it for Tom. Yeah. Just saying that Ben Affleck is the most brutal Batman and he could take down any of the Batman isn't the spoiler Batman could he take down Bane <laughs> without getting his back broken yes I think he could because <laughs> he'd have the, the suit mm. that you see in the trailers mm. yeah. metal suit and he'd be like oh I'm going to break your back with my knee he's like oh metal suit <laughs> <style. laughs> like, oh, oh, oh my knee oh my knee Batman you bruised it yeah. You're really dumbed down, child friendly version of Batman. Oh, wow, Batman. Ow. Ouchie. Damn, Batman. <laughs> Damn, Batman. Damn, Batman. Back at it with the black suit. <laughs> Back at it again with the black suit. So he won't wear white. Um, I wanted to talk about Destiny. Oh, yeah. Your that Destiny game that or the no game? one plays anymore. The well, game that actually we dip in and out of maybe once a year. <laughs> and play a crap ton. Yeah, but that's why it's so good. They release big updates and it gets people coming back. And then you're like, oh, I've got another 30 hours spent this week. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm not sure I can't got jump from update. this ship anymore. <laughs> Let's light level to the max. Exactly. It's uh, so they've yeah, so they've got the big April update coming out, where they've got a few new like nightfall strikes and stuff like that. Um, oh. So it's meant to be. So obviously, Taken King is dead. And I think some that's some prints. Spoilers. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why did really? you say that on their website for the update? I didn't know that the big boss from Destiny of the Taken King was killed. What do you yeah, think? The fucking... But he's not really killed. He'll probably come what, back. What it's like with she... any bad villain. No, no, he's dead. So it's a prince 
So I'm taking Prince has escaped. Uh, ooh, Varix. Varix. They should be telling me Darth Vader's someone's dad or something. It would be like a can. I'm alright, thank you. I have my foam bananas. Fair enough. You alright? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just waiting for my pizza. Um, so, oh, yeah, the prints. Uh, there's a new light for They've raised their light level as well. 335. Wow. I'm only like 305. Yeah. There's new rewards. Although well, it hasn't been released yet. That's this week they're releasing that. I'm going to start playing it again. Definitely. See, we should all. It's so much fun. Start playing The Division together. We should all I start playing PC somebody. games. What PC games do you play, Richard? I've got loads. What do you play? If you turn on the Total PC War board. a lot. Anything else? Like XCOM. Anything else? Not CSGO. Good. Anything else? Uh, I've played Dota occasionally. Mm. I'm meaning to get into League. No, don't do um, League. Yeah, Start with Hero, Heroes strategy. of the Storm. Heroes of the Storm. I don't, I've Overwatch. Been, I've been trying to... Um, I am looking forward to Overwatch. Yeah, are you going to get that one? Uh, yeah, PC I, or I don't know. Probably console. So I, to, I might get on PS4 and PC. I'm going to see that in April, I think, on PlayStation Four. Um, really? Mm. Fallout modding. Get a code. I, I'm. I will Something. get one. Has anybody looked at the um, the mods for Fallout Four yet? No. No, I haven't played that. They're very basic at the out. moment because uh, Bethesda haven't released modding support yet. But I, I'm. I believe when they release modding support they're also going to release the mods on uh, consoles really? yeah Cause it, you know they've been meaning to release mods on consoles for ages. does that mean I can play Spider-Man? Uh, not on consoles because Bethesda have to approve the mods that go ah, the they'll consoles. approve of that oh, cool you can no, play Spider-Man so. I think <laughs> sick bro. yeah you can be Spider-Man any day <laughs> I think copyright and explicit content they won't put through but um, you can do that on PC what about like a pink Hulk? <laughs> no one would know it's Hulk because Hulk is green yeah. yeah, and they call him Sulk or Polk. No, or an incredible Polk. Um, the, mo- <laughs> the only mods I've, the only mods I've got on um, Fallout Four on the PC so far have been uh, John Cena mods. Oh no! So John Cena's theme tune plays whenever I level up. Whenever uh, Codsworth speaks to me, he goes, "Hello, Mister John Cena." Oh, that'd be <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> What's worse is I'm going around as a female character and I'm called John Cena. We've got a female character. So I've got a male one on uh, Fallout. I on need to play the some more of that. Xbox. Oh. Tom, have you played Metal Gear Solid? No. You should play the new one. I've been playing it a lot recently. Uh, Phantom, Phantom Pain. Pain. Isn't that super, you can borrow super it from me. long? Yeah, but it's <laughs> like yeah. it's like Splinter Cell yeah. meets Grand Theft Auto. And it's mm. very disturbing in places. Hmm. Yeah. I don't need to play that. I don't know. I don't. I don't really have time when I get home anymore. I don't. I want to play more COD because there's more things that have been released on the black market. More. There was skins. a period of time in COD when I just could not put that sucker down. I still go back to it. I've got the sword. Well, now the new COD's coming out. What sword? There's a sword. Is it on the black market? Yeah, hmm. it's awesome. Shadow. Player but the new COD's going to come out this year, and then that'll take over. Yeah, and I was thinking about this. Will come out. No, I was thinking about this. They, because every time a new cod comes out, they obviously add new things. So like, Advanced Warfare had the thrusters and the whole kind of changey yeah. grenade and yeah. threat. Changey grenade, grenade. I didn't like the changey grenade. No, no, neither do. I. And the fact that you could throw grenades by the off your like, mm, the launch mm. of your wrist—that was shit. And then this one, it was kind of a better thruster uh, and the whole specialist thing. That yeah, was it's new. a bit like Titanfall. Yeah, they need to they need to roll it back. Oh, Call of Duty Napoleon. Hello. Yep, is are you outside? Yes, also I'll be down in just a second, alright? Cheers, man. Bye. Pizza time! How long how long have we been recording? Forty three minutes. That enough, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> alright, thanks everyone for uh, <laughs> tuning in to the uh, to the start that replay in. podcast. Leave that in. Uh, <laughs> episode twenty seven. That was episode twenty seven. Yep. Thank Anything you. else you want to talk about before um, we actually sign off? Well, you can send questions into us. I don't know if you will, but 
If you do want to send sing questions, questions into it, to us, you can sing questions into us as Hello, well. Hello, Josh. Uh, just How send was your them. pizza? It was amazing. How was your pizza, Thomas? So delicious. Mm, yes, it is. Ah. So you can send questions to us or sing them to uh, contact at startreplay.com. Or just tweet us. Or just tweet us at startreplay, which is probably easier. It'll be a prize of zero fucks. Yeah. <laughs> zero fucks will be given. Naturally, only from Richard. There'll be total fucks given from me. And oh, um, yeah. Batman v Superman, we, I suggest that you go and see it. It's worth seeing. It's worth seeing. But if you don't like it, don't blame us. <laughs> exactly. Make up your own blame mind. Blame Schneider. Don't listen to the critics. Listen to yourself. Uh, yeah, don't read reviews first. That's no yeah. Fun. Don't read reviews. Don't go on Twitter. Just see the fucking movie first, and yeah. then make up your mind. I will do that. Ben Affleck's awesome. So yeah, once again, thank you for listening. Tom, Cheers, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, You're more than welcome, Richard. It's been a pleasure to be with you for a day, well, right. many hours, yes. and um, I don't know who I feel you, more you sorry for. <sighs> Probably both of us. Equally. And oh, we've yeah. been playing Words with Friends. We're going to download that. I have Awesome. Have you not got it, Tom? You're about three years too late. Yeah, but now we need to get it. At so. my birthday party last year, everyone was playing Words with Friends except from me. Get Words with Friends. There you go. I'll redownload it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speak to you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.